So earlier on they had been singing Uhuru Kiboko Yao as he made his way to uh, the Jubilee offices. Uh, one Secretary General, Jeremiah Kioni, uh, should I say embattled Secretary General, had been inside the building, uh, stopping access into it uh, by the team of Kanini Kega. And let me again start with you, Honorable Priscilla Nyokabi. First of all, who is the party, party leader of Jubilee Party? President Uhuru Kenyatta. The law says that after six months he cannot hold uh, mm. an office in a political party. How are you dealing with that? I mean, I think articles in the Constitution help him, but then also there must be a process of succession, which is detailed in the party constitution. So that's what the party is going to go into. Mm -hmm. and, and anyway, um, some of these laws around retirement, because um, he's not the first to retire uh, from office. I mean, the former prime minister, for example, has retired from office mm -hmm. and still leads the ODM party. Uh, but we might need to look at it differently now. Mm -hmm. um, because law is in context. It, it would ideally be good that he retires. Mm. But then, if your party is in limbo, your party members are refusing to toe the line, there is no other person. And unfortunately, I don't think that our party has anybody else who can crack the whip. So he had to come back. It's, uh, so, so, it's almost like the party has called him from, uh, from wherever he was. But now you've got, and, and that has been for me the sadness. You asked me a good question about parliament. That has been the sad thing about our own politics. It's almost like we are beholden to the party leaders. Uh, that if the party leaders are not there to crack the whip, we cannot exercise uh, good democratic principles on our own. And so, and so, you know, I just be it. I hope that he comes, uh, settles the party uh, in terms of uh, the two warring sides, and, and settles the internal party systems and internal party uh, mechanisms so that they can be able to address. These this, uh, fights should not come out to the public. Right. These fights should be within the party system, and the party system is able to contain them. But now that the party system was not able to contain it, then the party leader has to uh, has to come back and do. Do you know who is the who is the secretary general now in Jubilee? Uh, you know, to the extent that the uh, legally gazetted one has not been ungazetted or degazetted or any of those things, then he remains the party the party uh, secretary general, uh, Jeremiah Kioni. And even if Kanini is my own county mate, uh, he would have to follow the law and the laws would have to be followed for him to assume the position legally. But is what we are saying all the time. The two steps I told you, our parties are still uh, not yet out of the woods in as far as these matters are concerned. Kanini was in the meeting that made Kioni the SG. That meeting, uh, the, the meeting of delegates, made Kanini the uh, director of elections. You know, I think there should be some respect around that. But this is an internal party matter. Uh, the party leader has convened a meeting of delegates. Uh, let the delegates go back in a sober way and resolve the issues. Uh, you know, on how we get then. Uh, is it May 19th? I think May 22nd. 22nd. May 22nd, yeah. Uh, it's an internal party matter. But also, to the extent that the party leader is required to come and calm the situation, I think I think that just, just be it. It's just that all other parties should then let our party, uh, our bedroom, Remember we spoke about bedrooms. Our bedrooms, so say, mishikwa na shida. Right. Watu wa bedroom wa shugulikie bedroom yao. Okay. Kila watu waende wa shugulikie bedroom zao. Wachanini na bedroom ya jubilee, uh, bedroom ya jubilee itajipanga, it will clean up. I tell you, in fact, our own hope with jubilee now was to go back to how the TNA was run as a party because TNA was run beautifully. We had a good party. We were happily contributing our party contributions. We were serving our roles in parliament. We had party leadership. Women were respected in that party. We brought in the fund uh, for, for uh, the women reps, the National Government Affirmative Action Fund. We had uh, other funds in budget committee. Uh, so if we could go back to that model of running things. And, and I personally even appeared before one of the disciplinary uh, committees of, of the TNA and got cleared of any of those allegations that were against me. Mm. And that's how it should be. You have an independent panel of people who can hear a dispute. Even now between Kioni and Kanini, there should be an independent panel that can hear the dispute and say, you are this position and you are this position. That's what we are lacking. Even as a country, mm. we're going to need to recall our elders. And, uh, not the church ones. In fact, I'm really hoping that this is also the chance for uh, what I call main, mainstream religious churches, our bishops, come back because these disputes will always be there. Send them to the uh, no, PPLZ, <laughs> uh, a better advisory. <laughs> <laughs> Better advisory mechanisms, and also the the thing about the discipline of queuing. Yeah, you are secretary general today. You'll be secretary general tomorrow. 
discipline of life. Okay. I think our bishop called it hygiene, mm. political discipline, heshima, adabu, okay. I mean, is it a I don't know where they want to take us. <laughs> I, I hear you. I, I, I know this is a 